Number 1. Saint Martin is the smallest island in the world to share two nationalities. The northern part of the country is French, and the southern part is Dutch. Although the border is a mere formality, and people pass freely back and forth. In fact, both of these sides have distinct cultures. Number 2. The International Airport at St. Martin, known as Juliana International Airport, is often known as one of the most dangerous in the world for spectators, if not for travelers. This is because of its runway, which is sandwiched between a public beach at one end, and a mountain at the other. Number 3. St. Martin boasts the world's steepest zip line, the Flying Dutchman. The zip line is located at Rockland Estate along with several other attractions including a museum. Imagine dropping 1,050 feet in elevation across the 2,800 feet of cable. Riders will zip down over greenery at 56 miles per hour. Number 4. In the 14th century, the cannibalistic Carib Indians named the island Sualiga, which means Salt Island. This was due to the island's main mineral deposit. Legend has it that St. Martin actually receives its name from the day Christopher Columbus landed on the island, which was on November 11, 1493, that is the holy day of St. Martin of Tours. Number 5. St. Martin has its own special breed of dog, the Coconut Retriever. Coconut Retriever is the name given to the local island dogs that populate the island. These dogs vary in looks and size, but are generally healthy and intelligent by nature. Number 6. Now that we have told you about the existence of two countries within St. Martin, we must tell you a story that is believed by the locals to be true. Local legends state that the division of the country was decided by mark of a walking contest, which took place between a Dutch representative and a French representative. As legend tells it, it is thought that France ended up with more land as the alcohol he was drinking at the time, was weaker than the gin the Dutchman was consuming alongside. In fact, the Dutch people will generally state that the Frenchman cheated in the contest. Number 7. Despite the Dutch side of the island being smaller, there are more people living in the south than the north, by around 8,000 people. Therefore, if you visit the island, the French North is likely to be sparser, and appeal to those looking for a few open spaces and quiet walks, while the Dutch side is known for its city life. That was all about St. Martin. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel, Explified.